Three Rivers Archery, your longbow and recurve experts. Hi, today we're going to talk about bow length and the things to consider when you're picking your next bow. Um, so first thing, what is bow length? Bow length is the measurement of the bow from the string groove to the string groove following the contour of the back of the bow, the outside of the bow here. Um, that's how it's measured and it should be written on the riser on the side here or on the bottom limb on the belly side of the bow. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the advantages of a longer bow versus the advantages of a shorter bow. Um, so with the longer bow, the first thing that you notice with it when you shoot one of those is it's going to feel smoother to draw and shoot. Um, and what this is, is let's say you have 60 pound bow and both like a 52 inch and a 72 inch bow. On the 72 inch bow, it's going to feel smoother to draw because that weight, though it's the same in both, is being distributed over a larger surface area. It's going to feel like you're pulling less weight and holding less weight at that draw. Um, though on a bow scale, it'll read the same as that shorter bow. Um, so this can be great for the enjoyment of shooting. If you're going to be doing a lot of it over longer periods, just easier in the muscles feels good. Um, next thing is you will get less stack out of a longer bow. And what stack is, is when you're drawing, you hit a spot on the bow and it just feels like you've hit a wall. You can't really draw past that. Instead of being that smooth draw back, it just hits a spot and it feels like it's heavy weight to go. And what's happening is usually as your bow limbs are opening up during the draw, you're going to get to about a 90 degree angle on it when it's coming off of the, the string tips here. And what it is, is you've utilized all the limb. It doesn't have anything left to it. Now stack is not good. It's tough on your muscles. It's extra stress on the bow. Definitely something you want to stay away from. Uh, if, you know, if you have current bows right now and you're curious how much of your limb you're utilizing, have somebody uh, watch you as you draw and keep an eye and see kind of what the angle is coming off of the string tip here with the string uh, when you're at full draw. Um, now, speaking of string angle on that, uh, down here at the fingers, a longer bow is going to have less finger pinch because that string angle is not going to be as extreme as it is on a shorter bow. Now, finger pinch uh, does a few things. One, the comfort of shooting. It's putting roughness onto either side of your fingers on the outside, whether you shoot split finger or three under. Um, so that will be uncomfortable for shooting. Uh, and then also it really impacts the accuracy of your bow because a shorter bow with more, um, or, sorry, with more finger pinch, um, any imperfections in your release, uh, they literally are going to be magnified by finger pinch, which will lead less accuracy downrange where you're shooting. Um, now, I highly recommend something really important if you shoot three under of having a longer bow because having that less string angle there means less risk of the arrow not coming off the string when you're at full draw since you are putting more angle to it having the three fingers underneath the arrow instead of split finger having it spread out around it. Um, so definitely a big thing to watch for if you shoot three under. Um, now, what are the advantages to a shorter bow like this? Well, the biggest thing is going to be utilizing the limbs. You're going to be getting more performance or should be getting more performance out of a shorter bow versus a longer bow of the same, same weight and same draw to it um, because you're utilizing more of the limb. So it's a balancing factor to it. If, uh, you know, if you're a bow hunter, bow fishing, um, where you're going to be in tight spaces, having a shorter bow can be a big advantage. That way you're not hitting your limb tips on any obstacles in that. Uh, but you don't want to go too short to where you're getting the things like stack and finger pinch to it. Um, but make sure that you're utilizing your limb because you'll get better cast on the arrow. You get more energy from the limb transferred to the arrow for better shooting, getting further distances and better performance. Uh, now there is the balance to it all. So for myself, I have over a 29 inch draw. What I do is I shoot a 64 inch bow because it's comfortable like with this one here. But what I do is I use a shorter limb, a medium limb as what these are with that longer riser. So I'm able to get longer length bow, but a shorter limb, so I'm utilizing it more. Yes, it would be more comfortable with a longer limb on shooting, but I'm at that sweet spot with the balance of the riser length to where it's comfortable to get all the way back and I'm really able to get more energy downrange when I'm shooting. Um, now we do have a range, uh, you know, my personal recommendation, if you have a 28 to a 33 inch draw, I like 64 to 68, 28 inches to 30, 60, 61 to 63, 64, uh, 57 to 60 inch bow is good for 26 to a 29 inch draw, 53 to 56 inches is good for 24 to 28 inch draw length, and then for 27 and under draw length, I like to go say 48 to a 52 inch bow. Now that's just my personal recommendation. A lot can go into the material and the design of the bow and how it's used. So not all things are equal for it. 
but that should at least give you a good range. And we'll give you a link to where we have, have that chart so it's easy to find. Um, but that's it. If you have any questions on bow length and how it'll apply to you or aspects to it, please comment below. Be happy to answer them. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, please hit that share button to share with your friends and family. I'm Jonathan Karch with Three Rivers Archery. Thanks for watching.